just over three weeks away until Election Day. Can you believe that? Yep, new polling shows this is anybody's race, and there is new rhetoric from the former president about using the military to go after his enemies. But first, we do have new reporting for you on the arrest of a man with illegal guns near a Trump rally over the weekend. Scott McFarlane is following that part of the story from Washington and joins us with the latest. Scott, good morning. What can you tell us? Hey, Gail, good morning. Federal investigators say Trump was not in danger at his event Saturday. And a federal law enforcement source tells CBS News there's no indication this was an assassination attempt. But the local sheriffs, as they arrested a man named Vem Miller, a Las Vegas resident, allegedly with two unregistered loaded firearms in his SUV at the event before Trump arrived. Police say the suspect's car was in disarray with a fake license plate. They say they found multiple fake IDs with different names and multiple boxes of ammo inside. And investigators say Miller made it through one security checkpoint by claiming to be a journalist, but didn't get through the second checkpoint. In a statement to CBS News, Miller calls the allegations a bunch of lies and said police made a mistake. In a video he posted overnight, Miller says he's a staunch supporter of the former president, has been active in helping him get reelected, and was invited to the rally. The suspect facing two misdemeanor charges, one allegedly for having the gun, one for having a high-capacity magazine. He's been released pending future court dates. And though there's a federal investigation ongoing, Tony, there are no federal charges in this case. Scott, thank you very much. Appreciate it.